Hi, my friends. How are you? I hope you guys had a nice weekend. So last week, our theme was all about spring and flowers. We made ourselves a caterpillar. We made the parts of a plant. And now we're gonna be changing our theme into buildings. Can you think of the most important building that there is for you? Maybe a building that you've been spending a lot of time in right now? I think the most important building to anybody is their home. And there's lots of different homes out there. Some people live in a house, some people live in an apartment building. Is that where most animals live? Do you know any types of homes for any animals? Well, we're gonna read a story that's gonna go over a few different homes for a few different animals, and then we'll talk about it. This book is called A Home for a Bunny. So if you guys sit down, get nice and comfortable, sit down properly, I will read the story for you. Spring, 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 sang the frog. Spring, said the groundhog. Spring, 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 sang the robin. It was spring. The leaves burst out, the flowers burst out, and the robins burst out of their eggs. It was spring. In the spring, a bunny came down the road. He was going to find a home of his own. A home for a bunny. A home of his own. Under a rock, under a stone, under a log, or under the ground. Where would a bunny find a home? Hmm. Book, the book says under a rock, under a stone, under a log, or under the ground. Where do you think a bunny would find his home? Let's see where the bunny's gonna find his home. Where is your home? He asked the robin. Here, 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 sang the robin. Here, in this nest, is my home. Where's the robin's nest? Here, 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 sang the little robins who were about to fall out of the nest. Here is our home. Not for me, said the bunny. I would fall out of a nest. I would fall on the ground. So he went on looking for a home. Where is your home? He asked the frog. Where's the frog's home? Where do you think the frog lives? Wog, 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 sang the frog. Wog, 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 under the water, down in the bog. Not for me, said the bunny. Under the water, I would drown in a bog. Do you think the bunny could live under the water? So he went on looking for a home. Where do you live? He asked the groundhog. Where do you think the groundhog lives? In a log, said the groundhog. Can I come in? said the bunny. No, you can't come in my log, said the groundhog. Was that nice? Why do you think the groundhog wouldn't let the bunny inside? Ah, 
Do you think the bunny's gonna find his home? Where do you think the bunny's gonna end up living? So the bunny went down the road, down the road, and down the road he went. He was gonna find a home of his own, a home for a bunny, a home of his own, under a rock, or a log, or a stone. Where would a bunny find a home? Down the road, and down the road, and down the road he went, until, hmm. What do you think's gonna happen? What do you think he's gonna find down the road? He met a bunny. Where is your home, he asked the bunny. Where do you think that bunny lives? Here, said the bunny, here is my home, under this rock, under this stone, down under the ground, here is my home. Do you think our bunny friend could live with the other bunny? Can I come in, said the bunny. Yes, said the other bunny, and so he did. And that was his home. The end. Do you guys think our bunny is happy? Now, what were some of the homes that we talked about in the story? Where did the robin, the bird, live? It lived in a nest in the tree, right? Do you think you could live in a tree? I know a few of you like to climb trees in the playground, but do you think you could live in the tree? Hmm. I don't think I would like to live in a tree. I actually am really afraid of heights. And every time I go somewhere that's high, I get so scared. I don't think I would want to live in a tree. And then, um, where did the frog live? Do you remember where the frog lived? He lived down in the bog. In the bog down in the valley, yo oh, ho, row the Rattlin bog. The bog down in the valley, yo oh, ho, row the Rattlin bog. The bog down in the valley, yo. Oh. Do you think you would want to live in a bog? What do you think? I don't know. It'd be kind of dirty, kind of smelly. I don't think I would want to live in a bog. And then there was one other animal. Do you remember what the other animal was? It was a groundhog. And he lived where? Where did the groundhog live? I think he said he lived in a log. What do you think? Do you think you would want to live in a log? Do you know what a log is? Do you see what a log is? A log is a tree that fell down. That's a log. You think you'd fit in this log? You think I'd fit in this log? Hmm. You know, these are all nice homes for animals, but I don't think that they're the best types of homes for people. So what we're gonna do for activity is I'm gonna make my home and you can make your home. I live in a house and so I know some of you guys might live in a house. Some of you guys might live in an apartment building. Um, so depending on what type of home you have, you can try to try your best to make your home. Okay, so if you go to the next video, we're going to do that activity. You're going to need your construction paper, um, scissors, and your glue. And also, if mommy and daddy had it, 
a cereal box, okay? So I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed the story, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!